What's good? We back with the boxing clinic. Good morning, your boy CJ Goodfellow. One time for the one time. Y'all know what the business is. We grinding. And apparently, Jose Pedraza beat um, Ray Beltran last night. Really wasn't a shocker for me. Never thought Ray Beltran was that good as he got older. All right. I think it's, you know, he just got old in front of everybody um, a few fights ago. But Pedraza won. And now Lomachenko is going to go up against Jose Pedraza, who Javante Tank Davis, I think, smashed at 20 or 21 years old. All right. And I told people this is this fight was basically, you know, who's going to turn over they they built over to um, Lomachenko. This was set up for Lomachenko. And people are going to try to glorify this unification match and say, oh, unification matches are big. Yeah. In other areas of boxing, not this era of boxing. You know what I'm saying? This is a this is a tune up for Lomachenko coming off a shoulder injury, and the tune up just so happened to be a unification bout with Jose Pedraza, a guy that Javante Tank Davis completely smashed. Now Jose Pedraza stopped Tevin Farmer early in his career, and you know Tank just completely out outclassed Pedraza with little or no experience. You know, remember Javante Tank Davis hadn't stepped up. At that time, and Pedraza was a step-up fight that he said Mayweather promotions and Floyd Mayweather um, tried to set him up against, like, shit, six, seven months ago he said that. So, I just want to see how people going to glorify this match for Lomachenko, how the media going to overblow it for Lomachenko. Oh, Pedraza was way great. He moved up a weight class. He's a different fighter now. He's a more complete fighter. No, he ain't. Because you fight Tank, is going to be quicker. He's going to get knocked out quicker. All right? And... Like I said, this is a glorified tune-up match for Lomachenko. At the end of the day, this is the equivalent of stat padding. That's all they're doing is, 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 is padding his stats for the Hall of Fame, padding his stats to say he's the greatest or he's the unique, uh, most unique fighter. And nobody did what he did. There's plenty of fighters did what he did. I don't have an issue with Lomachenko. I have an issue how Bob Aram is trying to pump Lomachenko up in the media. Let him be great. Let the fans decide. You don't have to shove or scarf something down the fans' throat. And I already know they're gonna try to shove and scarf this fight down our throat as a, oh it's another unif unification bout for Lomachenko. Well, well, and this is his first unification bout. You know, the previous weight class he only held the WBO belt. So this is his first unification bout. Let's see how they try to spin it. First fight in the under fifteen fights, fights that you know become a unification and you know, you know how it's about to be, man. And then people are gonna rationalize this as a great fight, but you're going to say, well, you know, um, this and that. No. Can he stop Pedraza faster than Tank stop Pedraza? Can he beat Pedraza better than Tank beat Pedraza? How old is Lomachenko? Almost 30? Tank did it when he was at 21. 20. Whatever it was. And, and outclassed Pedraza. It wasn't even close. It wasn't even competitive. It wasn't competitive. It wasn't close. You know what I'm saying? You know? It wasn't competitive. It wasn't close. So let's see what Lomachenko do, you know. Let's see what uh, Ukrainian Jesus does, man. You know, to fans and media. It's, like I said, it's no shot at him. Shot at Bob Merriam and ESPN writers. Trying to, they going to try to make it see in this unification ball like he walking on water. He took a loaf of bread and fed a, bill, uh, fed a billion people. He took one fish and fed a trillion people. All right? Ain't nobody buying that shit, man. This is a glorified tune-up mismatch versus Pedraza that's coming. You know, and if he ever gets the opportunity to face Mikey Garcia, then we'll see a great, great fight and he'll get all the credit in the world. But he's already in my pound for pound top five. I've said that people you hating you. I said he's in my pound for pound top five. I like his skill set. He passed the eye test. He done more in his resume in 12, 13 fights than Triple G done in his career. And that's a fact. That's an actual fact right there. But I'm telling you this right here. Don't try to pump this shit up as a great unification bout. Because in today's boxing, it's a lot of unification bouts. It's either undisputed runs that's questionable. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's questionable. And people say, oh, he's undisputed. Woo -woo. Yeah, it's because people blow, blow it out of proportion because it's out the norm. Because all the boxing politics and all these unnecessary belts. All right? You know? You know you got people going to undisputed run that be no elite fighters. Every fighter they fight with B, B minus, B fighters or less. They didn't fight a, another A level fighter or another B level, B plus level fighter. They didn't fight that. 
So yes, you take away from that unification run. Yes, you take away from a un um, from a uh, undisputed run. Yes, you take away from a unification fight when you fighting Jose Pedraza. And I know Jose. People say Jose Pedraza is a two weight class champion. Salute to him. But who you be for the belt? Egner Cherry for vacant belt. Ray Beltran, a lifetime sparring partner for Manny Pacquiao. These he won a title. It, it, it ain't that hard. I'm not gonna say as 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 a title fighter, as a prize fighter, it ain't that hard to get a title these days. The requirements have dropped. With all these titles and subtitles and, and interim and regular championships and super championships, it ain't that hard to get a title. You know, your promoter could pay, you know, pay what he got to pay to get you a title. Like Ray Beltran won his title versus Paulus Moses. How? That dude was older than Chop Chop Corley. He didn't go out there and, and beat a real champion for his title. He didn't. He didn't beat a real champion or a real title holder for his title. He didn't do that. So does it diminish it for me? Yes. And I said the same thing for Jamal Charles. If he get handed the WBC belt, why would you? I mean, I know you would take the belt because it gives you leverage. It's the most prestigious belt. But, you know, I'd rather win it. It's more prestige than taking the belt from the champion than being handed. But that's out of his control, all right? But like I said, man, I'm going to see how y'all spin this and how the media spin this shit. Um... About, you know, Lomachenko unifying with Tank Leftovers. I wonder how they spin that shit. You know what I'm saying? And can he can he beat him more impressive than Tank? Let's find out. Let's find out. You know, but y'all know what it is. The boxing clinic and more. One time for the one time. All right? And uh, don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. If you want to join the Boycott slash Classic Review uh, uh, Facebook group we got going on the link in the description where we boycotting the fights that need to be boycotted Sean and Danny Garcia we're gonna stream the whole card in there and then you know next fight we'll do the same we'll go from there we just taking the viewership away instead of talking and complaining about fights um, if you don't join if you're not with the cause I have no issue with it but also we're gonna stream a classical fight hopefully today through the uh, Facebook watch party and then we'll vote on each one classic fight each uh, week and stream it uh, eventually all right if you want to donate, the PayPal link is there as well. You want to, um, if you can't donate through the super chat or the PayPal link, share the videos, retweet them, you know, share the channel with a friend. I definitely appreciate it. Most blessings to everybody out there supporting the TBC and more movement. Shout out to the brother for now international boxing channel. Y'all go subscribe to that brother right there. We gone.